Hello and welcome to a new series I'm doing, which is Charlie Sheringham's Road to Glory. Now, as you know, Charlie Sheringham's dad, Teddy Sheringham, is a le legend card in the game. And the minute I knew this, I knew straight away I had a series on my hands. So unlike a normal Road to Glory series, I will always have Teddy Sheringham and his son, Charlie Sheringham, in the team. Now, for those of you that don't know what a Road to Glory series is, it is, in this case, you start with a... Um, Normal bronze team, then you go to a rare bronze team, silver, rare silver, gold, rare gold, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full in form, and then I'm going to go as much into legends as I possibly can. But we'll see what we go. But the only two rules I'm going to have is, as I just said, Charlie Sheringham and Teddy Sheringham must stay in the team. Now we're going to be doing single matches originally till we get ourselves a half decent squad. Then we'll be going on to gold cup matches or potentially division matches so i do i am pretty much benefited originally because obviously i have a legend in but later into the series i'm going to have a huge disadvantage because i'm going to have a 56 rated striker in there so we come up against our first player here who has some god awful chemistry and a god awful team called timely coma which is just interesting and i'd had a couple of beers by the time i started playing this and i'm not going to lie i thought i was seeing things there he's got like 27 strikers in his squad obviously doesn't understand um the chemistry styles or anything that that or is just incredibly new to the game but i thought straight away this is probably the ideal team to come up against it so after a nice little passing interval here we get ourselves in with teddy sharing them but unfortunately due to his only freestyle weak foot and this was the first game we used him with we were unlucky with a shot but time and time again now we get another chance here great skill that is finesse is a shot but the finesse is deflected and then teddy Sheringham takes the corner himself and his son charlie Sheringham gets us off and going and it's not long until charlie Sheringham bangs himself his second decent finish with his weak foot into the bottom corner and we knew straight away that we were off to a winner now in fairness to this guy he did stay in the game he was absolutely battered as teddy Sheringham there hits his shot saved and my defensive midfielder who i'm not even going to tr not try and pronounce that name and i'm kawaii i just tried even though i said i wouldn't whatever pings into the back in there and into the second half it's just more one-way traffic Charlie Sheringham is absolutely snapped there, steps up, takes a penalty himself, grabbing himself a hat-trick on his debut, and you can't really blame the guy, he, well I'm not going to say rage quit, he just quit, because at the end of the day the guy was getting battered, so what we're going to do is we're going to replace our right midfielder in Shemington, he did alright for me first game, don't know much about him, but we're going to bring in Powell from MK Don, better pace, better dribbling, and pretty much that's all you need on a winger in this early stage of a Road to Glory series. Now, we come up against the second guy here who has a South End United squad. I don't know much about South End United myself. All I knew or know is they had or still have uh, Freddie Eastwood. Minus that, I don't know anything about him. But as I was going to say, if you can give me some suggestions for players throughout the series, they don't all have to be English, but if you could give me ideas of how to link it up, it would be perfect. As we go into this game here, and Flanagan knocks the ball into Charlie Sheringham, and he just hits the front post, front post shot, should I say. But it is easily saved, and from the resulting corner this time, Teddy Sheringham gets his head on it, but unfortunately the keeper saves it. But from the resulting play around the corner, Teddy Sheringham does whatever on earth that was. That little drag back there, I don't know what it was. It was some sort of very strange animation, but we'll take it, and we get ourselves into the lead. Now this guy just crossed, 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 like most people do in this game. But... Richard Wright, who ever having goal, was more than capable of dealing that, and it was only a matter of time until I made it 2-0. Unfortunately, though, it just didn't fall for me here. I'm not sure what my player's doing there. He just doesn't lock on and can't finish it. Charlie Sheringham now gets himself a great chance, just beats two or three defenders. I probably went a bit overboard there. Shouldn't have done this, the last fake shot, and Powell walks the ball out for a goal kick at the back post. As you see here, the goal is coming. We get Teddy Sheringham through this time, but it is a decent save. And just as you think that you're going to get done over by EA, we didn't. Great, uh, great tackle there by Friars. Um, and we launch ourselves counter-attack. Charlie to Teddy, back to Teddy again. Sorry, that made no sense, but back to Teddy Sheringham. Knocks it over from uh, Jess Lindegaard, and what a finish that is. That's why he's got a legend card. I think he's, his finishing is like 91, his shot powers in the 90s, but what a half volley or volley this was. Great little chip ball there. One touch, and I knew straight away what I was doing with this. Pings it into the top corner, and it's still gaining height, but into the second half, he comes straight back into this. I couldn't cope with him down the right-hand side here. I'm not sure what Friars was doing, but he was getting battered by Hurst, and eventually in the 78th minute, he whips in probably the best cross I've ever seen. I'm pushing every single button on my control at this point, just trying to get somebody to lock on, as you'll see in the replay. I had control of one defender, then the other defender, then I tried to bring the keeper out, just because nothing was happening. So that is either the best ball you've ever seen into the box, or I've just been really unlucky. But... 
Thankfully, it doesn't go down to a nail-biting finish as Powell gets the ball down the wing here. The new guy cuts in, finds Charlie Sheringham, who finds Lindgaard again, cuts it in from the edge of the box and pings it into the bottom corner. And we come out of that one with another victory, which is a nice way to start the series with two wins from two. So this time round, we've decided we're going to upgrade our defensive midfielder. One of the reasons is because I can't say his name because so I can't have him in there. And the other reason is he found himself too attacking. So we bring in Robinson here, who his defensive stats weren't quite as good as the, the other guy, as I'm going to refer to him as. But his general play is a lot better. And we come up against another team here. Like we just played South End, and now we come up against Ipswich. I didn't know too many of these players. I knew Frank Newball and uh, Carlos Edwards down the wing. But Ipswich have just died since 2002, pretty much, when they were playing in Europe. They're just a god-awful side nowadays. Um, so I didn't really know too much of them. And we get ourselves off to an unlucky start again. They're ball into showing and he just knocks it wide with his left foot. I am tempted to put him on the other side, just because he keeps doing that too often. But within 15 minutes, he breaks the offside trip here, and he's never going to miss that. Anyone that's seen Teddy Sheringham in real life knows he is never missing that chance there. And we should have made it 2-0 straight away. Teddy Sheringham pounces on the mistake, knocks it into Charlie Sheringham, who pings it against the post, and I just couldn't believe it. And then not long after, Charlie Sheringham wins the ball in the box again and pings it off of the other post. Now, you'll see some of these clips are lagging, so I'm not showing too many of them. Um, this guy's connection, I'm pretty sure he's got wireless on his tractor or something like that. It was just unbelievable. The only highlights that don't seem to be lagging of what I've got in here, everything else is a state. And he does equalise here with Frank Newball. And we're going to crunch in straight into extra time because, as I've said, the, the lag was just terrific. And he does that from Wordsworth. What a strike. I say in absolute disbelief when this went in the net. Simply could not believe it. And you can tell by his celebration, he was uh, pretty proud of that one as well. So I'm sat here gutted out of my brain, thinking, God's sake, I've got to do something about this because it's going to be an embarrassing loss this early into a series. But thankfully, we do get back into this. Powell loses the ball, and our DM Robinson wins it back. And it's nice link up play here between Teddy Sheringham, Flanagan, and Powell. Great ball over the top here to Powell, gets him, beats the offside trap, and his pace just means he can do that. Great ball in, and thankfully, Teddy Sheringham saves me again. Again, as I said, Teddy Sheringham is going to save me a lot in the early episodes, but that's going to come to a hindrance later in the series when Charlie Sheringham is up front. So it should co-balance between it all. And in the 118th minute, he breaks through and wins the game for us. I was delighted by this because I did not fancy playing a penalty shootout on some sort of wireless tractor connection. So that was the game, and that is the third win from three. And what we will be doing is we'll be upgrading our defender, as you'll see in a moment. Uh, we played a game against Frank Newborn and he killed us in the air. So we need a bigger, stronger centre-back and that's what we throw in now. I think it's Smith that it is that we bring in and that is the episode. So as always, thanks for watching. If you have any um, suggestions for players or suggestions for how I can make a series more entertaining for you guys, just let me know below. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.